Hi everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to discuss how Odoo manages the storage of documents of a company. As you know, storing documents manually it is not a better option because it is costly, time consuming and it requires physical space to store and it is not safe to store those documents physically because manually because there are some problems that can occur to those documents like it can cause fire and the documents can be lost or some theft happens and it is not secure to store it manually and it is time consuming to search do- those documents that is stored in a in that physical location so for that odo uses a module that is documents module to manage all these things all the documents that we have in our company let us move to this module documents and if you open this module you can see all the documents which is under some workspaces it can be if all is selected you can see all the documents under every workspace you can see all the workspaces like internal finance hr marketing products fleet recruitment and you can see some brands under marketing so you can create new workspace under workspace configuration how you can see some workspace so i'm creating new workspace here you can add the workspace name and you can add some parent workspace okay i'm adding journal and company can be given and some tags can be attached okay some tags can be given if you need and some tool tip can be given you can add here okay and access rights can be set like right groups right access then read access can be given in under that you can see read groups so you can create also so you have created a new thing new under the internal workspace and if you go back you can see under internal it is a, there is a development and without a parent also you can create workspace also you can see the workspace created so in this way sub workspaces can be given and you can see some documents under this workspaces and whenever you create some tags that also can be seen here and if you click on that it will be filtered according to that according to the tags and you can see some documents so documents type can see here financial contract okay that also can be filtered and under configuration you can see the tags all the tags that is created under okay and also same way you can see the physical years 2019 2020 so according to that you also you can filter those if you choose a document you can see some details of this document the name you can change the name here edit the name then contact you can add some contact here and the owner of the document can be set then workspace can be changed currently it is in finance you can change the workspace and also add some tags here then actions you can add some actions that is create vendor bill validate like that we can give some actions okay here actions can be given and you can also archive this document if you archive this it will be under the archived okay so i'm just going to archive and selecting this and restoring it 
so it is restored now then you can see option that is download then share this selection then replace you can replace the document and you can also lock this document okay this is about this then you have an open chatter also you also have an option to save something to favorites and other filtering is like pdf document image video like that way also if i click this all and okay ah, you can see one url and yes image or video then like that way you can see the filters now you have upload option then you can add url here you can add the url and name of the url and you can also request document some documents is missing you can add okay missing expense document you can add the name then order of that document then contact can be added here and you due date in 30 days activity type request document and workspace to which workspace you need and some tags can be given notes so in this way request can be given and you can filter according to requested you can see the requested documents and you have other option share so on the configuration you can see shared links or the links that was shared so come back and share can see this url and can give the name of the shared link name can be given and two options this is allowed to when you go get this link and open that is it allowed to download the document or download and upload i'm just clicking download and upload then valid until this is valid until okay give a date then you can also upload by email when have given download upload so upload can be done by email also if i click that and you can also create activity if you wish so i'm just copying this one i'm just done okay so in this way you can share the documents also then under configuration settings can see file centralization here if you start with accounting you can see centralized accounting files and documents so whatever documents that you create in the accounting application will be automatically created in the documents so for that okay and we can mention the workspace to which it need to be created and in the case of project also whatever documents created in the project will be added to this documents module same way recruitment product if we attach some created some documents in product okay that then in case of hr also you can see payslip contracts so these things created will be automatically added to this documents module and you can give the tags here default tags here okay have already added some tags like payslip and contracts so in this way you can manage that So it is the best way to create documents in this way so that our documents are safe, secured and easy to access. So that's all about this module and thanks for watching. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, Drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.